Hey, greetings to you. It's your brother Bedford. Just coming out to take a quick walk. Beautiful day. Um, Dr. Dennis Kimbrough was absolutely on fire last night. So if you have not seen the replay, please find it on this page somewhere on George's page. Uh, the Power Podcast live stream series that we did last night with Dr. Dennis Kimbrough. He was absolutely on fire. Shared some powerful uh, words of wisdom, knowledge, experience, just some nuanced things that could really help you and me grow in our careers and take ourselves to the next level. A, a pure master at what it is, what he does. Um, so go see that. Tomorrow we have Pastor Jamal Bryant. Um, man, as you can see, we're not letting up. We're just going to keep coming with the best and brightest of black America to share their knowledge, their experience, their expertise, their wisdom, and their guidance to us in this time of uncertainty for many, trials for many, time of trouble for many. And we just hope, it's my hope and prayer that we can bring those thought leaders and entrepreneurs and business persons to the table that could help to uh, really be a bomb for some of us if we need some healing but then also to be a, a, a guiding light for those who need some direction in a time like this. Um, so I'm excited about that. Again, go to newblackpower.com to get all of the notifications uh, for the past. Uh, I, I wanna make sure that you don't miss any of these. And of course, all of the future live stream podcasts that we have coming up. And again, tomorrow's Pastor Jamal Bryant. We got Pastor Freddie Haynes. We have John Hope Bryant, we have Dr. Julianne Malvo, and on and on. We're not going to stop with bringing you the best and brightest of black America to help us to get through this time, to help us to navigate these difficult wars for most of us. What I really wanted to touch on real quick was I was reading an article over the weekend that really captured the spirit of how I'm approaching this period of quarantine that we're in. And it talked about, it was an article about the great Charlie Parker and it talked about how when he entered into the jazz scene how he was really just really so-so not even mediocre right many would say that he was a, a, a buster in terms of his jazz prowess right but he was determined but what he did he put himself on a 10-month self-quarantine to master his craft and so Charlie Parker went from being a so-so saxophonist putting himself on self quarantine for 10 months 15 hours a day mastering his craft and became a legend one of the most influential jazz artists in the last hundred years but he took the time put himself on a self quarantine removed himself from the daily grind the day-to-day -day activities and mastered his craft that's the spirit in which i'm approaching this quarantine for myself is that I'm, uh, I'm i'm forcing myself to absorb all of the knowledge the information put in the study the practice to emerge from this quarantine maybe not a legend right like charlie parker but at least i want to be able to say that i've mastered some facet of my craft so i'm just encouraging all of us, if you can, try to take this period of quarantine, even though it's forced upon us. That shows you the discipline that Charlie Parker had. He did it himself. No one told him to go away for 10 months. He went away himself because he knew he wanted to devote himself to his craft and master it. We're being forced. So how do we take this time? to master our craft, to gain the knowledge, the experience, the expertise, the wisdom, the nuances of what it is that we need to know and learn in order to become masters at what it is that we say that we want to do. So I'm hoping and praying, it is my hope and my prayer that we, you take the interviews that we're, that we're doing, that we're conducting, that we're trying to provide for you, all of the thought leaders, the masters of their craft, the masters in their sphere of influence and what it is that they do bringing them to you and hopefully you're gleaning some nuggets from them, some knowledge, 
and not only just listening, but taking that information, absorbing it, putting it into practical application, practicing it daily, weekly, monthly, to become a master at your craft, to become legendary, right? To go from being mediocre to a legend. That's what Charlie Parker did. So that's what we're doing. Again, please find that interview with Dr. Dennis Kimbrough. Study it. Get the information. Tomorrow we have Pastor Jamal Bryant. So share the information. Go back and get this information from Lisa Nichols, Les Brown. Who else do we have? Dr. Boyce Watkins. Uh, I'm, I'm pro I, it sounds I feel like I'm forgetting someone. But go back, get the interviews, study them. Come out of this thing, at, at, the, at the very least, mastering something, right? <laughs> Let's try to master something. Uh, but some of us are going to emerge from this thing on legendary status. And so that's my hope and my prayer. Again, go to newblackpower.com to get all of the notifications. And I'll see you tomorrow with Pastor Jamal Bryant. Take care.